All right, people. Coach Simmons here. With some news, I got to let y'all understand, I've been following this. I have a little bit of inside source. I can't really say what's going on. I've been following this for a while. I'm a diehard college football fan, especially with the EA Sports game. Um, the thing you got to realize, the contact has been made. This is what I'm saying. I told you before, it's supposed to be 130 FBS teams. There's 118 that are allowing EA Sports to use their content, i.e. stadiums, uh, entrances, chants, theme songs, blah, blah, blah. There's trying to find, they're trying to find 12 teams to take over those 12 spots that are not allowing them to use. But they want to do it as a conference, not as a team here, team there, team everywhere. I can guarantee and I can verify right now the contact has been made to the SWAC office to see if they want to come up on game only as a conference. What that would mean is that the SWAC traditions, their, their schedules, their rivalries, the Magic City Classics, the all that stuff will still be in the game. But their out-of-conference games will be against FBS opponents, either lower or middle, middle card teams, the ones to fill in the games that are left behind by the other teams that don't want to play. They will not be available at launch. This is this, this is what um, I'm getting. It's a download loadable extra. So Launch comes out, 118 teams. You have your D1 AA West, the AA uh, North, South, East, Midwest, whatever you want to have it. Um, but then it'll be a downloadable extra, like say an update. There you go. But this all depends on if the presidents, because contrary to pop popular belief, McClellan cannot approve anything without the president's agreement. So, if the presidents, all 12, come to an agreement to allow this plan to go through, uh, it will come in later on after that. Right now, they want to use them because the SWAC is really getting more publicity than any other FCS school. SWAC as a whole is, is more popular. I'm not saying the football is better. I'm not saying they have more talent. So shut up about that. What I'm talking about is publicity-wise, to have an HBCU conference with the swag and the oh my gosh, the swag, with the popularity of the swag would be good to have as a downloadable content. Now, what we can do to make this go through a little bit better, spam, I'm sorry. Contact your presidents, uh, made it not make it known on Facebook. Uh, like, share, subscribe to this channel. Put this thing out there as much as you can. Also, let's hook up with EA Sports. I'll put the link for EA's direct uh, Twitter bio in the, in the description. Uh, this also would be a good way to get money because according to EA Sports itself, this is a um, FOIA request. Yeah. The payment for this game is between $10,000 and $100,000, depending per school, per school, depending on the institution's historical ranking in AP 25. With the swag not being in AP 25, being in the um, FCS, the price may be a little bit lower, maybe a little bit higher. We don't know. To get this done, this is something we have to make sure we look at. I'll put this for your request as well. In the link so you can read on to yourself. But as right now, uh, 6 08 p.m. Central, Central, Central Standard Time. Sorry, I'm a little happy right now, folks. Uh, 6 17 2022. Uh, EA Sports has reached out to the SWAC to bring them up as a conference. All of their traditions that's like I said, the Magic City Classic, the Bayou Classic. Um, soul bowls, everything you think of, at least for a year, 
to play with the big boys at FBS. Like I said, do me a favor, get this out there. Like, share, and subscribe. Please get this out as much as possible. We got to get this done. We have to get EA Sports to bring the swag up, at least on game only. And once again, this will also help funding anywhere from 10 grand to 100 grand per school, depending on historical ranking, AAIE popularity. It's Cole Simmons. Let's get it done.